Hi friends welcome you all to curious vet channel i am dr mohsina this channel is for vets and veterinary students and it will be helpful for veterinary licensing exams like navle bcsc etc so we will be dealing with some important topics in each video today's video we will be dealing with yellow star thistle poisoning so if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you like the video please comment and share it with your friends so yellow star thistle its scientific name is centauria solstitialis it is one important toxic plant and mainly it affect the horses actually this is an introduced weed but it spreads very rapidly in cultivated and disturbed soils so they can be seen along the roadsides and also in some fields so this is a picture of a horse grazing in a field of yellow star thistle plant one important point regarding this uh, plant is it is toxic in horses only both in the green and dry state and the seeds pass through the intestinal tract of horses and remain viable in the manure so in the manure the seeds are viable so it will lead to the formation of new plants and the cycle goes on another important point is ruminants are not at all affected by this plant so they can be used to control the spread of these weeds this is a picture of picture of goat you can see it is eating elostar thistle plant and it won't cause any clinical signs or any toxicity and the toxic principle is this thing no need to buy hard that 23 dihydro 3 fry dihydroxy pyran 4 ddmp and it is found in yellow star thistle and also in russian nap weed causing nigropelidial encephalomalacia that is the important point it causes nigropelidial encephalomalacia so this is the picture of russian nap weed the scientific name is centauria ripens the the compound inhibit the dopamine transporter system of brain in horses and it acts on the dopaminergic nigrostriatal pathway which coordinate and inhibit the nerves so this affects the prehension and chewing of food but swallowing is not at all affected and in some horses which ingest large quantities it causes nigropelidial encephalomalacia that is loss of globus pallidus and substantia nigra and extra pyramidal nuclei and these nuclei control the prehension so the loss of these nuclei causes tremors and dystonia of the lips and tongue when the horse is trying to eat food or chew the food but swallowing is not at all affected that is another important point swallowing is not at all affected the toxic dose of green plant is equivalent to the body weight of horse eaten over a period of weeks thus the horse can eat the plant without being poisoned as long as they do not consume the plant continuously so the horses however find the plant palatable also and they continue to eat it for a long time coming to the clinical signs the facial muscles become hypertonic and giving the horse a wooden appearance appearing facial expression the affected horses cannot bite off and chew the food the gastrointestinal signs are it is uh, called chewing disease because the horse try to bite off endlessly but and hold and chew the food without success mouth may be held open and the tongue protrudes or is in curled form from side to side also the horse act like they are choked and mouth abrasions and ulcers may develop as a result of trauma to gums and tongue and weight loss can be severe because the horse can't eat food there will be weight loss 
Regarding the musculoskeletal sign, the hypertonicity of facial muscles affecting the normal movement of lips, cheeks and tongue and because the host cannot eat or drink, weight loss is very severe. And in uh, the signs of respiratory system, inhalation pneumonia may develop as a result of animals attempt at chewing and sa- swallowing food. Coming to the nervous system, prehension and chewing of food, that is it, uh, it is affecting the cranial nerve 5, 7 and 9 and it causes hypertonicity of facial muscle, that is it will cause a wooden face to the horse. Coming to the diagnosis, horses are unable to prehend and chew their food and this clinical sign is highly suggestive of Russian napweed and allostatacil poisoning and the confirmation of the diagnosis is based upon the presence of typical brain lesions of nigropalladial and cephalomalacia. So this is the gross appearance of brain of horse showing bilaterally symmetrical malacia of the substantia nigra. You can see the black portions here. This is the gross appearance of horse which shows bilateral, bilaterally symmetrical malacia and cavation of globus pallidus. This is the histological appearance of lesion in horse and it shows severe loss of tissue and phagocytosis of the microglia. Axonal spheroids are present at the margin of the lesion. Coming to the treatment, actually there is no non-effective treatment for allostar thistle poisoning and the brain lesions are found to be permanent. So, euthanasia is recommended to avoid the horse starving to death. One Another plant that is called Malta thistle or Centuria militensis it is similar noxious weed of southwestern states but with shorter spines on the bracts and it looks like a lostar thistle but it is not, not known to be toxic. So thank you all. If you like the video, please like, comment and uh, share, uh, share it with your friends. If you have any doubts or uh, any topic you want to uh, you feel important you can please comment it and also comment your suggestions regarding the video thank you all